Hello, everybody. Greetings, greetings. Happy Friday. It's Friday, so we have a good reason to celebrate today. We're just getting our canvases out that we're going to be using today. And I think we're just going to continue to go ahead and use this guy as a drip pan. I think this is a great idea. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Wendy. Hope everybody's having a good Friday so far. Just getting my stuff out here. We're going to have um, our canvas, of course, that we're going to use as the drip pan again. And then also for the first painting, we are going to do a pour painting over this Christmas star. I just thought this would be really fun. We'll put it in the middle of the canvas and just pour it out. So I thought that would be really cool to do today. And then we're going to do some different frames too. So the first three frames we're going to do are going to be regular frames. And then we're going to do two picture frames. I got some more picture frames. I'll show you guys the other picture frame because it came out really, really great. Like this material holds the paint like really, really well. And then for the last one, we're going to be doing another triptych. And this is like a really nice, heavy, like fancy um, piece of canvas. So this will be fun. So we've got all kinds of uh, stuff that we're going to do today. And then we are also going to be auctioning off some items from Wendy's closet. I told her she needed to auction off some of her stuff. She's got some great uh, Christmas items and different things in there. So luckily she has agreed to put some of her stuff in here. And so I would invite you guys to start uh, taking a look at um, what, what we have for auction tonight. Um, and you can just click the little uh, button on the bottom right that says 13 because we have 13 items. We have my paintings, and then you can also see the different items that Wendy has uh, to auction tonight. So it's a nice mix of Christmas stuff, and um, I'm excited for you guys to see these things. So that's just an example of a candy cane wreath that she made. There's another one. They have a couple different themes. So I want you guys to start checking them out. That way we can figure out what we want to auction off. And we also have some really cute homemade ornaments. Those are really, really great work. I love those. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, and then there's another ornament. So we've got some really good uh, selection of stuff that we're going to be auctioning off tonight. So you guys just be sure to check it out. And um, yeah, just be sure to say, see what's on the list there. All right, let me move. I gotta make room for my canvas here. Cause yeah, we're definitely doing this again with the canvas. I think it ends up looking really cool. So let's get some uh, colors together here. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad that you got it in the mail. Yeah, that was a really pretty one. The copper in that one was beautiful. That copper is just so cool. We are loving it. We are loving the copper. So I'm going to get some colors together and then we're going to figure out which item we're going to be auctioning off of Wendy's. So if there's any suggestions, put them in the chat. Um, and I'm going to start getting the first mixture together. So what we're going to be doing for this one is we're going to be doing pour painting over the star. And this is just kind of fun, like just to do, to try it. So let's get out our colors that we're going to be using on this one. And the last thing that was requested on the last show um, were these colors. Let's get them together here. We're going to be doing our coppers. Um, let me see what's on the list here. Hey, Elk. How's it going? We're doing some uh, Christmas type stuff here. I don't know. I feel like we should do holiday colors for this one, though, since we're going to be pouring it on a Christmas star. I think we should do some holiday colors. So let's do the copper. Let's 
do the red and the green. Let's do the cobalt metallic blue. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Oh no, you got a cold? Oh my gosh, no. I am so sorry about that. Oh, that's miserable. Hopefully it's not the flu or any of the stuff that's going around because there's usually two strains of the flu. There's like a more severe one and a less severe one and it just depends on what's going around that year. This year it's a, like not a good situation. So I hope you don't have that. And yes, we should definitely add silver. We should definitely add gold too. What was that one color theme that we did where we did like a lot of like holiday colors? It would look something like this. It was really cool. And then, um, oh man, oh, that sucks. I hope you feel better. That is just no fun at all. Get a heating pad, use a heating pad. It always makes me feel better. I don't know, just like having it in the bed. I kind of move it around where my stomach is and my feet and then my back. I just kind of like move it all around. I don't know. Should we do a rose gold? We should. We got. A, we have a gold. We have a copper. We have a rose gold. We have all these colors. I still feel like it's missing something though. I don't know what we're missing here, but we're missing something. Oh, welcome back. I am so glad you joined us. Babette, welcome back. Yeah, we're just trying to do some holiday like colors here. There was a really pretty color scheme that we did the other day, but, and this is pretty too. I just feel like it's missing something. Maybe like white for snow. So I'll mix that with the pearl. We'll do a white lid for snow there. All right. I still feel like it's missing something. White or black. Yeah, I'm going to add this white to it, I think. I'm going to, like, mix it with the pearl iridescent thing. I'm just like, what else? Dude, I feel like we're missing something here. Should we do another blue? Like one of the glittery blues? We've got pearl blue and we've got pearl sky blue. Hey, Tulip and Rose, how's it going? Yeah, the sky blue is the lighter one. We're just trying to think of some colors to use. I know we have a lot on here, but I just feel like we need to make sure we have enough colors. Yes, and what we're gonna be trying to do, actually, is we are going to pour our paint over this Christmas star. I just think it'd be really fun. Yay, TGIF, happy Friday. All right, let's mix these guys up. And then, um, do we want cells on this one? Jingle cells on this one? I'm definitely gonna mix this pearl white color. Okay. Are there certain colors we want the jingle cells on? I'm just basically making this like pearl white. All right, we're gonna need some more iridescent mediums. There we go. Here's that situation. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're just mixing a couple of colors here, seeing what happens. It's always somewhat of an experiment. And we're auctioning off also um, Wendy's items. 
So we need to figure out what we want to auction first because there's like some really, really cool uh, Christmas stuff in there. The wreaths are very, very pretty. I was kind of hoping that she was going to uh, auction some of those because those are really, really pretty. I know you guys would like those. And there's like a pearl white. Okay, so we got a lot of colors here. Oh yeah, my post office has been struggling too. I think everybody's post office is struggling. I feel so bad. Like, I love the ladies at our post office. They are so, so nice. And people are so mean to them. And I'm just like, oh, you guys stop. They're awesome. Of course, I see them like every day just about, so... Still don't know why that porta potty is right in the front. Still can't wrap my mind around that. Like why they why they have it at the front door. Literally every day I ask myself this question. That's awesome. I'm so glad that you love it. Yeah, we're just going to, um, okay, so tonight we're going to do, the first three are going to be regular canvas, and then we're going to do two of the picture frames, because they really turned out cool, and honestly, like, these canvases really held the paint really well, like, so we're going to do two of those, and then the last one, we're also going to do, like, this really nice canvas, um, we're going to do a triptych, and this one's, like, a lot thicker, and, uh, so this one is really nice. And then we'll do the drip pan. And this comes apart in three pieces. And they're each four by 12. So we're doing the triptych frame. We're doing the uh, fun picture frames. And then we're doing a couple regular canvases. And we're going to do this star. And we're also auctioning off some of Wendy's items. So everybody, while we're getting this situation together, be sure to click on the bottom right corner where it says uh, 13 and you can check out and see what all we are going to be auctioning off from Wendy's closet. And that way, if anybody has any requests, we can take them down. So we're going to add some cells to these guys. We're going to do the cell medium on those two. We're going to do like silicone drops in that, um, like duochrome type copper. I know. I feel like I've never seen anybody come in and out of the porta potty. I don't think anybody uses them. I, I'm telling you, I think they like drive down the street and go to the like McDonald's or the gas station or somewhere. Cause you know what I mean? That's just weird. Especially right now, everybody and their dog is going to the post office. Everybody's got a package right now. Like, it's getting ugly. Sometimes people are like, oh, they're cra they get crazy in the post office. Just, I'm just so grateful I haven't been behind the dude with all the calendars. And if you've ever heard me talk about him, like, you'll know why. I'm glad I'm not behind that. Luckily, I hadn't seen him for, like, almost a week. Still want to know what kind of calendars he's selling. <laughs> I still want to see. I still. I still want to see the calendars and know like what the, that situation is about. <laughs> so basically, I'm just gonna randomly add these colors. We did cells. And the coppers and the pearl ivory. So we're just going to kind of randomly do this because the color does what it wants anyway. So I'm not going to try to tell it what to do. I'm just going to put it in here and see. Oh, yeah. I need to be remembering to put light colors back together. We're trying to stay organized. That's our goal for... 2023 get organized but not only get organized but stay organized right we can all just get kind of get organized it's the staying it's the staying organized 
that I feel like that's where the struggle is. Exactly. See, it, it's so true. It, that's the hardest part is staying organized. I think, I think we all do our best, but it's just one of those things. Okay. This is freaking cool. This has got a lot of metallics in it, which I just love. We're all about the metallics. All right. There's not like a whole, like a lot of, basically this is just mostly for fun that we're pouring it on the star just because it's Christmas. That's pretty much the only reason we're doing this. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a lot of drama. And that's kind of creepy. Like, I know it, it's like it is and it isn't, you know? Like it's... Oh yeah, when you're, or like when you're shipping anything internationally or anything like that, it's always like something. Okay, so this is painting number one. Let's take a look at the cup. And then before we do that, we're going to auction off one of Wendy's items. But look at that cup. That cup looks cool. These are all metallics, my friends. All metallics. Look at my ogre fingernails. My Shrek fingernails. And then the side of the cup looks really cool. It's full. I wish you guys could see it. But, like, that uh, cobalt metallic blue is really pretty. And, honestly, there's already, like, some cells and different things going on this in this cup. Wow. I just love those metallics. Okay, so these are holiday colors. So we're going to do a holiday star. But before we do that, we're going to auction off one of Wendy's items. So I don't know if anybody has a request or you guys want me to look and see and if Wendy if you want to go in a certain order or two however you want to do it and I'm just gonna cl click into the bundle I really need to wipe off this iPad this is ridiculous I've got like paint on my on this thing you guys can't see everything if I've got my greasy little hands all over it my paint hands all over it all right there we go I got it pulled up here Oh, so we're not, we're just going to use the star to pour. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm probably not really going to sell the star. Um, I mean, unless somebody wants it with the, I mean, we can always put it with the painting or something. That might be cool. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I was just going to pour it over the star just to like watch the paint like drip all over it. Yeah. But I guess the star is going to be painted too, right? So that's true. All right, let us, okay, let's do um, an ornament to start out with. I think we should start with an ornament because it's Christmas. Exactly. So, yeah, for number one, I'll just put, put the star with it. Let me write that down in my notes. With star. Okay. Let's do an ornament first, guys. Let's do this one. Let's do this. The hedgehog one. This one is awesome. Hey, Bex. Not too much. We're just hanging out, trying to get to try a couple things. We're going to auction off this really cute ornament to start out with. And look at the detail in this guy. The detail in this is amazing. Wendy has some really, really cute stuff. And, um, okay, so let me read the description here. Really cute hedgehog ornament. Wooden, hand-painted. Image on both side, sides. Can be hung either way. Handmade with love by Wendy um, for her craft studio. Cinder's Crafty Creations. And then there's a measurement on this guy. It's three and a half inches wide and four inches in height. So we do have some really good information on this. Isn't that cute? 
That's awesome. And so that's like a little nice little wooden ornament. So we're going to start this guy off. Where is he? There he is. So I'm going to send that to you, Wendy. And then, yeah, take a close-up look at this guy. This guy is really, really cute. What a night. What is he's like a little cute little hedgehog. It's got a pretty snowflake on it. This is handmade, just beautiful design. This would look really, really cute on a tree for sure. Isn't that cute? There's a lot of really cool stuff Wendy has in her closet though. She's got some really stuff. I like the wreaths. The wreaths are really cool. And she has a variety of wreaths as well. But this is the one that we're auctioning off right now. And it's this awesome little hedgehog guy. This would look really, really cute on someone's tree for sure. I like him. He's really, really cute, isn't he? I like hedgehogs, though. That's really, really good work, too. Look at that guy. Congratulations, Bex. Oh, my gosh. This guy's so cute. I'm glad he's going to be going to your home. He's going to a very, very good home. We're all probably going to regret this, but I'm going to pour myself a nice cup of coffee with a little bit of Bailey's for creamer. I'm hoping that the Bailey's won't make me like as hyper because I'm drinking coffee, but I don't know. Sometimes it just sounds really good. I don't know. Like a nice cup of coffee, especially when it's cold outside. I just feel like it's, I don't know. And if you don't drink it a lot, it's like even better. No coffee, no coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, the do the lab is super cute. Those are really, really cool ornaments. Those handmade ornaments. So you guys be sure to check them out. There's this guy right here. He's a cute little black lab, it looks like. And then there's also like a little footy print one too. Wooden ornaments. Those are super cute. Ooh, yum. Spiked hot chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, wow, look what the cup is doing. That looks cool. All right, we're going to pour it over this star. And mostly why we're doing this is just because it's going to be fun. There's no real reason behind this. People pour all kinds of, like, uh, pour it all over all types of stuff. Like, I had a friend that did one one time that uh, poured it all over this, like, Eiffel Tower metallic sculpture thing that they had. And it's like, that's cool. So, people use all kinds of shapes and things like that. I just thought this would be for fun. Ooh, nice. A dog in a doghouse. Cute. Yeah, this one is really cool. This one turned out a lot different than I thought it would. And so now I'm just going to take the star and I'll put it in the other room. And whoever wins it, if you guys, well, actually, let me just leave it right here because it looks kind of cool. We may want to put glitter or do something to it. Hold on. It just needs. There we go. That is cool looking. Look at that star. That star looks freaking awesome. That'll come go with the painting. Okay, so with this one, you get the canvas, and then you get a star ornament. I'll turn it into an ornament. I'll like put some string on it or something. That's cool. 
That is freaking cool. Let's look at that real quick and then I'll jiggle the thing around. Look at that. Okay, that's cool. All right, now we'll look at this one. And you can see kind of the star. We're going to move it around so it'll, you know, you're not going to be able to see the star, but. Okay, this is really, really pretty. Wow, this, this one is really pretty. I love this one. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at this gold coming through over here. That's right here. There's a gold and then like this blue. That's pretty. All right. Let me rinse off my hands and take a closer look at this guy. Pretty cool. And we kind of used holiday colors on this one, or what we thought holiday colors, like, I don't know, like a Christmas party type thing. And this is what we got. I really like this. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, wow. This one is really, really pretty. There's a shadow right there. Yeah. I think so, too. This one is beautiful. And then look right here. You can see the gold and the cobalt metallic blue and the pearl green all coming together. Yeah, this is definitely one of the prettier ones we've ever done. And then we've got our copper jingle cells. And then, oh, you guys, this side of it. Look at this side of it. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just love those types of cells. And then you've got some jingle cells over here. You've got some jingle cells over here. And then you've got kind of like this like, I don't know, like marbling seafoam jingle cell action over here. All right, this one is definitely a winner, okay? This one is really pretty and it also comes with the star. So, all right. Wow, that one's really, 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 really pretty. Dang it, I don't wanna put my thing on top of this star. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is 11 by 14, by the way. I don't know. What should we call this one? Oh, let me write down these colors. These colors are great. Pearl red. Pearl green. Pearl sky blue. Copper, both coppers, gold, metallic cobalt blue. Okay. Yeah, that one definitely gets a star. Um, this guy is 11 by 14. And right now I have the long side this way. This is a long side and then this is the short side. And so, I don't know. I would call this one, I don't know, Heavenly Waves. Oh, Dream Grotto. Oh, that's a good one. Also like, I don't know, God of the Sea. I don't know, this one looks like really oceany to me. It's pretty. 
I like this guy. This is pretty. Okay, so we did a good job on this one. So we'll go ahead and auction this guy off and get it started. Hopefully we can see this. Let me make sure everybody can see it. Ocean Dreams, Goddess of the Sea. Yeah, the star looks cool. It definitely matches with the painting for sure. You can tell it's using the same colors. Um, we are about to auction it off, Kyle. We start them off at five dollars. Let's see, Goddess of the Sea. Oh yeah, Winter Waves. I just want to make sure we write down all of our good painting names. Okay, perfect. Okay, I feel like we have a good mix of names now. I feel, and I feel like that helps. So nobody has to think of their own names. Okay, so this one is painting number one. It's 11 by uh, 14, and it also comes with the star. Which we can make into an ornament or part of the painting, however you want to do it. But this one is especially lovely. We did a good job on this one. It's got the pretty copper cells on the left side here. Um, and yeah, this one's gorgeous. It's got our cobalt metallic blue, which is always a winner. And then also you get your little star ornament so that your painting and your star ornament can be twinning together. So it's really, really pretty though. This one is gonna look awesome on somebody's wall for sure. Um, it's 11 by 14 and you get the painting and the star. Um, and yeah, it takes, uh, 24 to 48 hours to dry. And then we put a nice clear coat on it. That way it is protected for you. It extends the life of the painting and it also keeps it nice and glossy for you. Oh, congratulations to On the Glocklo. I can't talk. Gokolo. You are the winner. This is a cool one. I really hope you like this one. This one's really cool. On the go -clo. Oh, got it. Gotcha. That makes sense now. That's cool. You must be really busy. On the go, Kalo. Mmm. Okay, got it. <laughs> Thanks for explaining that to me. I like it when people explain where their handles come from. Or... <laughs> On the go, Kalo. That's awesome. Congratulations, you're the winner. So you have to name your painting now. Sand waves. Ooh, got it. Nice. Sand waves. One word. Let me write that down. Highlight it. And would you like any accessories with your painting today? Would you like to add some glass? Maybe you want to add some glitter. Maybe you want to add some other kinds of glitter. Awesome. Welcome back, Connor Brook. Yeah, and the star's really cool, too. I hope you like this. This one turned out awesome. It's so pretty. Look at this guy. It's just a gorgeous painting. Colors in this one are just really, really pretty. Push you over here to dry. Get our star too. Mm. 
Look at the star. That's really cool. You get the star with the painting. The star is part of the uh, painting auction. Yeah, that is the first painting. And since you're the winner of the first painting, uh, the winner gets, or whoever won the painting wins the stars. Oh, okay. So you don't want the star? That's fine. We can, I can definitely find something cool to do with it. Put, add it to another project. I don't know what yet, but these colors are so pretty. Look at the drip tray. You want me to auction the star? Let me see. I don't know if I can add the star. I always have a problem adding things for some reason. turn this guy into an ornament. Oh, wow. It looks goofy right there. Let me see. You can't even see it when it's on that rack thing. That doesn't help. guys I'm adding it right now it looks like it's letting me add it though so that's always a good thing we're gonna eventually figure this out to see if it's in our option here. Let me see. Oh yeah, you guys want to do glitter on it? We should definitely do that. Okay, I don't see it in here. Sorry guys, I really need to like, I don't know whether it's my tablet or what, but Add listing. Okay. 
I added the list in, but where are you? You're not on there. Yeah, I'm trying to organize mine today. I was uh, basically doing some organizing. Okay, so now we're on the wrong device here. Okay. Did that add it? Alright, if it didn't add it, then we probably can't do it because I just, I don't know. I think it's my tablet, guys. I really do.